Damn. So if, if I if whoa, I this way, so whoa. I can I can shoot this way. It's I'm David Dutton, and this is Kill Phil. I'm at Nason Perspective Studios, the home of Jesse Clarkson. He's a prop master, and he's worked on movies like Dark Knight and Iron Man. Today's guest is Rated RR. He's a YouTuber that blows up electronics with real weapons. He's perfect to decide what weapon we'll build next. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. What about yourself? I'm uh, doing good. I'm uh, checking out this steampunk gun that Jesse has set out here. It's got some pretty neat little features on it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's got all these little buttons on it, so I'm trying to figure out how all this stuff works. So, Good fellas. Hey, hey, what's happening? Jesse, how's it going? Good to see you. Maybe you can tell me a little bit more about this, because I'm uh, I'm over here geeking out. What, what exactly does this, this fire? That's what I want to well, know. Well, it was really kind of uh, inspired by one, just always wanted to make a steampunk Tommy gun, just the thought of it, you know, something that's steam powered. <laughs> it's not really meant to be a single fire round as much nice. as it's just kind of, just a general mayhem gun, really. So, uh -huh. so. so where is the safety? Well, that one, I don't think there is one. I mean, I don't think it's actually, it's There's a very, it's a, safe about dude, it. exactly. There's nothing safe about that gun, period. <laughs> Just set, set it down gently and hopefully it won't go off on you. Yeah, that's great. So let's go over and see what gun you chose. All right. I didn't want to go too simple, something like a G36 that you see in every other movie. I wanted right, to go right. really, really specific. And so what I chose was the Zorg ZF-1. The Zorg ZF-1 is from Luc Besson's classic, The Fifth Element. The weapon is named after its dealer in the movie, Jean-Baptiste Emmanuel Zorg. So what I really like about it is it's not, it's not just one challenge. Right. There's so many different challenges Absolutely. incorporated in that. So how do you think you would go about building that? Um, well, you know, normally what we would do is uh, obviously just carve a shape for it. Um, you know, we can find a lot of those parts. We can mill a lot of them on lathes. You know, we can draw it up as 3D files um, and create a pretty much an exact replica of that. How long do we have? Well, I wanted to add a little bit of a challenge for you. I'm going to give you three days for it. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the main thing, we've got that red button which I'd like to get it to light. Yeah, I mean, okay. it'd be nice if it illuminates when we push the button. Otherwise, if it's just illuminated, it'd be fine. The hardest part is really just gonna be getting our overall shape. All this stuff in here is pretty straightforward, I think. Like I said, I, mean, I think a lot of this stuff can be like Hobby Shop, Home Depot. And again, you know, obviously time's of the essence. We only got like, you know, a couple days to do this, so. This is the fun stuff. You get to like, <laughs> just walk through the store, you just look and you're picking pieces up. Does that fit? I don't know, exactly. maybe it does. That looks good. <laughs> All right, well, I'll grab some foam and start carving. <laughs> so what we have here is urethane foam. It's very similar to what they use for florists, for sticking flowers and stuff like that. As you can see it's pretty small. It's covered by your hand pretty much. Some of my tools that I use are something as simple as sure forms, knives. One of my favorite tools is actually called a curry comb. That way you can do nice curved edges without leaving a line. So we've kind of worked our way through it a little bit now. We've managed to dig through and locate a lot of these parts that we needed. Tim just got back from Home Depot. Tim, you want to go ahead and pull out some of those parts and see what we've got? I found this uh, spinzomatic torch. You That's our it. practical flame flamethrower. Yeah, 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 yeah. They okay. use that same piece. That's probably, what was that, for the net maybe? I think it was for the net. This I found, but it's probably the hardest thing to find. It's a fountainhead that you would use like in golf courses or ponds. Okay. And then the rest of this, all these linkages and all those parts would be at the hobby shop. We've got loads of stuff in here. You want to start on one end and I'll start on the other. Yep. Hey, check this out. That looks like the piece for the ring, remember? Oh, perfect. Yeah, for what we're doing, I think, yeah, I think it's definitely close enough. It's better than what we have so far. Piston locking tool. Check that out. Look at that. Oh, nice. That's dead on. Yeah. It's like a match made in heaven. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's see if they have the rockets. Uh, they're right back over here. Um, also, they have the blue paint. If we paint this over the metal, it'll give us that illusion of anodized aluminum instead of being like an opaque paint, it gives us that clear paint look. Um, as a model maker, I actually keep a bin uh, of just interesting parts that I come across. Um, in here, we've got all kinds of just weird odds and ends, you know, stuff you might be able to put into the gun. I think a lot of this stuff will work out really well. I guess our next step, is we go ahead and take apart the torch. Yep. You want to get that yep. disassembled. So here's the piece that we have. And uh, there's your flamethrower. For our barrel, we're just gonna use a piece of PVC pipe. We'll cut it out, cap it, 
use some Bondo Auto Body Filler to fill it in to make it smoothed out and finish it from there. Long night, we're here with our almost completed Zorg ZF1 blaster. We've got a few more odds and ends here to add to it. Again, this was Tim's little magic part that he found at the hobby shop, so this is also one of our little pieces that will fit in the top here. Uh, we actually managed to locate an actual SD's bullpup rocket, which is the same one they used in the movie. You're gonna edit out all this fumbling and stuff. Go wash your uh, flight suit, get a sharpie. The red button, so I ended up using a cap to a medicine bottle. Used a plastic tubing, a little LED light in the back. This guy is gonna go on and hook up like this. That's the red button. Whatever you do, don't push the red button. I'm here with Richard Ryan. I'm, I'm excited to see what you guys did. You had three days, and I know that's not a lot of time, yeah. but did you get it done? Though? We did get it done. Uh, we had to take a few liberties as far as the design, uh, which I know a lot of the hardcore sci-fi fans are probably going to give us a lot of hell about <laughs> the that. internet trolls are going to But, but you again, apart. we tried to make sure that everything that we had was easily accessible. Um, mm -hmm. So it was something that you can go to a hardware store, any hobby shop, and pretty much pick up all these parts to make the gun yourself. I'm excited, man. I'm are you excited. ready for it? Let's see it. Let's all see right. it. Job. Can I pick it up? Absolutely, absolutely. Yes! Oh my god, this is so cool. You got a, you got a functioning light on the button there, the uh, flamethrower nozzle. And, you know, safety first, always keep a gun pointed in a safe direction as I'm looking straight down the barrel with a rocket pointing at <laughs> me. <laughs> Yeah, the barrel is just basically made out of PVC, just capped. We put some auto body filler in there, just gave it a good paint job. This is just a regular torch. Rod arms came from a hobby store. This is actually a syringe. It's so funny, because I actually thought that that was a brass fitting. No, no, it's just, just plastic, just painted up. These are two mini mag light flashlight tubes. These are all just odds and ends we found around different hardware stores. Wow. Even all the way down to the same stickers that are on the actual gun itself. No way! And then what about the actual, the pod shell here and everything? The pod shell I had carved out of urethane foam. Yeah. Uh, so we did a really quick sculpt of this, uh, very simple, basic. Uh, you know, just put some mi minor details in it, took it out, had it vacuum formed, had it turned around in about half a day. I have to applaud you on uh, thank that. You. Well, I, mean, I, that I, I owe a lot to my guys. I mean, they're, they're, they're the ones that stayed up with me getting it all done, so without them, it'd probably still be a bunch of parts sitting on the table. <laughs> <laughs> I know three days is not a lot of time to do just about anything when it comes to prop making, so I can't believe you guys were able to pull this off in such a short amount of time. I mean, that's pretty amazing. So, uh, you want to see a fire? No way, this thing doesn't do live fire. So we're gonna find out. That's our face out back, we'll go check it out. All right, let's do it. Now I wanna, now I wanna be very careful. Exactly, I probably should've warned you before you are putting the barrel in your face. You guys ready? Yeah, what do, you, what do you want me to shoot at? What, what, what are you in the mood for? I know you like, you like blowing up technology. Yeah, you, you, got, you got an iPhone or something? Uh, I yeah, got an iPhone. Got a phone. You guys just shoot mine. All right, well I know you do a lot of uh, high ordinance weapons testing. I see you do this one blindfolded. Easy enough. <laughs> can't see anything, right? Keep pointing that way. Okay. And you should be safe. Right right around in there, I think you're good. So, so okay. what, wait, 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 wait. I have no idea what this thing's going to do. So whenever I'm, I'm pushing down on the selector, here, do it. <laughs> what, what was that? You just caught a sound, man. With what? <laughs> With the net. Should we take the blindfold off? Uh, no. 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 Is this the safe? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Whoa, I take it that's a flamethrower. Yeah, that was a flamethrower. Where, where's the tracer at? What, one, one more switch with your thumb. Right there? Yep, that should yeah. be it. That's it, right gotcha. there. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Did I get it? I think yeah. so. I think you yeah. got it. Hey, Phil, go uh, get some B-roll of that. Just get a close-up of the bullet through the iPhone. Nice. Hey, so if, if, I, if whoa, I, whoa, way, whoa, whoa, so whoa. I can this way, I can shoot this way. And the bullets will go that whoa, way, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here we go. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Oh,
get your film fix. Subscribe to Cinefix.